In the heart of Roanoke, Virginia, a spirit roams. For most of its life, this entity has remained silent. Many have seen this spirit from time to time, passing down the stories it leaves behind for new generations to hope that someday they would see it too. Now, after 20 years of dormancy, Norfolk and Western J Class Number 611, now given the title as the Spirit of Roanoke, has returned, ready to roll once again. For the past two centuries, the steam locomotive has grabbed the attention of countless generations. Throughout that time, countless locomotives of all designs would stun the masses. But none could match the majesty of the Norfolk and Western Class J. And for number 611, she represents the class well. Built by the NW Locomotive Shops in Roanoke, Virginia, 611 is one of 14 J Class 484s between 1941 and 1950. Each of the J's featured 70-inch drive wheels with roller bearings on both the axles and driving rods, powered by 27 by 32-inch cylinders. The class was originally set with a 275 PSI boiler pressure, but this was increased to 300 PSI by 1950, giving the class attractive effort from 73,000 pounds to 80,000 pounds. They were rated to run at speeds around 100 miles per hour, though one example, number 610, reached speeds of 110 miles per hour during a trial run on the Pennsylvania Railroad's Fort Wayne division. Of course, the Jays' most notable application was their elegant streamlining with a jet black coat and a maroon stripe along the running board and tender. They became one of the last steam locomotive classes to feature streamlining apparatus. Though the second batch of J's were not equipped with streamlining or roller bearing drive rods after the Second World War. This gave the 1944 J's a beefy appearance, but elegant nonetheless. The 
The J-Class handled the primary passenger services on the NW, such as the Pocahontas, the Cavalier, and the Powhatan Arrow between Norfolk, Virginia and Cincinnati, Ohio, along with supplementary power on the Southern Railroad's Tennessean, Birmingham Special, and the Pelican between Lynchburg and Bristol, Virginia. From time to time, some of the Jays were assigned freight duties, which became their last jobs when diesels took over the passenger trains. Number 611 would be the last Jay in operation by 1959, and of October of that year, she pulled the last steam-powered passenger train on the Norfolk and Western. 611 was spared from the cutter's torch, as famed photographer O. Winston Link and several men purchased the locomotive from the n and She was placed on display at the newly formed Roanoke Transportation Museum in 1960, remaining silent for 20 years. By the 1980s, the Norfolk and Western would merge with its close counterpart, the Southern Railroad, to become the Norfolk Southern Corporation. At that time, the former Southern Railroad operated steam excursions from 1966 with various steam locomotives. The NNW's president, Robert Clater, along with his brother W. Graham Clater, the former president of the Southern, made plans to lease the 611 and restore her to operational condition. 611 would arrive at the Norris Yard shops in Birmingham, Alabama in 1981, returning to service a year later. From 1982 until 1994, 611 would operate numerous excursions across the territory of the newly formed Norfolk Southern. Along the way, 611 would run alongside other famous excursion locomotives, including Southern 4501, Nickel Plate Road 765, and NW Class A 1218. Sadly, nothing gold could stay as the increasing cost to operate the steam program became a problem to the Norfolk Southern. 611 would pull one of the last excursions on December 3, 1994, then make a three-day run from Birmingham, Alabama to Roanoke, Virginia. Her fire was dropped on December 7, 1994. It would be another 20 years before 611 would feel the warmth of a fire again. 611 returned home to the renamed Virginia Museum of Transportation in a new outdoor pavilion alongside the former N&W Main Line and A-Class 1218. As the NS returned steam to the Main Line under the 21st Century Steam Program, many wondered if 611 would join on the festivities. By 2013, the Fire Up 611 campaign began the fundraising to rebuild the 611 to working order, along with the plans to build a shop near the VMT. Sufficient funds were made by early 2014, and 611 would be restored at the North Carolina Transportation Museum in Spencer, North Carolina. Of course, 611 would steal the spotlight at the NCTM Streamliner event just before work commenced, Another year would pass before 611 would see the public's eye under her own power. By May 2015, 611's restoration was complete. With a steam test on May 9th, following test runs for the next few weekends, before returning to Roanoke, Virginia on her 65th birthday. Crowds of people, from locals to out of town, even around the world, gathered along the main line to witness the return of the 611. Roanoke was now proud once again that an old friend returned to attract a new generation of railroad enthusiasts. In this program, we follow the 611 on its 2016 excursion run between Manassas and Front Royal, Virginia, along with the ferry run from Roanoke.